So you want to uncover all the bodies in a system using the Full Spectrum Scanner, or the FSS. This is a later addition to Elite Dangerous, so some older players still might not know about it if they're coming back to Elite Dangerous. But it's actually fairly easy to use. But first things first, let's make sure you have the FSS bound to something. Go to your Options, Controls. What you want to do is you want to go down to Mode Switches. At the bottom of Mode Switches, you'll see Enter FSS Mode. Go ahead and bind that to whatever suits your fancy. While you're down here, also bind Switch Cock cockpit mode if you haven't done that already and you're returning to the game after a long hiatus. Once you've done that, make sure you have some controls for the FSS. So go down to the bottom of the options and click on Full Spectrum System Scanner. These are my controls. Some controls may already be set for you, but you can go ahead and set them yourself. These are the controls that you're going to use when you um, use the FSS when you're in that mode. Make sure you have the pitch, the yaw, the tuning, the zoom in, the zoom out, the stepped zoom in, zoom out. The uh, absolute tuning is very helpful. The discovery scan, leaving the FSS needs to be bound to something. And of course, targeting the current signal needs to be bound to something. While you're down here, if you haven't already, also go ahead and set up some controls for detailed surface scanner. And that's something else that was added at the same time the FSS was added. So if you haven't set the FSS, you probably haven't set the detailed surface scanner. That's for scanning planet surfaces, not for scanning the system. Once you've ensured you have some controls set up, the process is to scan the system with the Discovery Scanner, this establishes the orbital plane. As you can see, this system is not uncovered yet. I haven't discovered most of the bodies in it. My discovery scanner noticed this gas giant and so forth, but not anything else. There's a big line between the star and the gas giant, which implies that there are other bodies there. Once you have honked the system with your discovery scanner and established the orbital plane, now you need to be in super cruise. Set your speed all the way down. You don't have to worry about what mode your cockpit's in, because as you can see here, even though I was in combat mode, when I activated my FSS, it automatically switched me. It forced me into discovery mode. I don't know why it can't do that for other things that we do in Elite Dangerous. That's what happens in my case. It switches the mode for me. But on paper you need to be in discovery mode. And then activate your full spectrum scanner. Notice that it will tell you what percentage of the system you have scanned in the bottom left corner. Your goal is to get this to 100%, thus completing the system scan. While in your spectrum scanner, your first job is to find the orbital plane. That's basically the lines you'll see cutting through space. Once you've found the orbital plane, Follow the lines. You'll notice a wave or a ripple moving from the top of the screen toward the bottom of your screen. Once in a while, this wave will cause a blip or a flash. That is the indication of an astronomical body in the area that you haven't discovered yet. Move your cursor over where you see that blip. You'll see some arrows appear around your cursor. Move the spectrum scanner analysis bar back and forth until you see those arrows start to align, or you see a circle start to appear in the center of your target. When you see that circle, that means it's time to zoom in. If you zoom into a body, it will discover it. Sometimes, however, it'll zoom into another page with even more blips. Just continue the process for each blip, moving the analysis bar back and forth until you see that circle appear, then zoom into it. And again, it'll either uncover the body or take you to another page. Repeat the process until you've discovered all the objects in the area. When you've discovered an object, but you know there's more blips to look at, just zoom back out, Move toward those blips and zoom into them. If you're zoomed out all the way and there's no longer a blip or a flash over those objects in that area, that means you've got them all. If there is still a blip or a flash over those objects that you've been scanning, that means you must have missed one and you need to zoom back in to find it. You'll notice the percentage at the bottom left of your screen goes up each time you uncover a planet or object. When this reaches 100%, you're done. And that's all there is to it, unless you want to start mapping the planet surfaces. That takes a surface scanner, and we'll talk about that in another video.